Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Lindsay ASICs. And this is a ASIC company that was focused on creating a Ethereum miner. And specifically, they had specs of it of being 1400 mega hash at about 1000 watts. Pretty efficient. I think it was about 450% more efficient than regular GPU mining. So that's what they announced. And just recently, they have announced they are finally going to start production. They're apparently on their final stage uh, to, to mass produce this ASIC miner. From what I've been reading, it's actually not a big deal, in my opinion, because they're apparently or only making about 200 of them which would not really make quite a big dent on the network hash rate for, you know, Ethereum per se. So let me just, let me just quickly read here what they're doing. Uh, they have ordered 37 wafers from a Taiwan, from a Taiwan semiconductor manufacturing company. And the main parts that will allow it to build about 200 application specific integrated circuit ASIC miners, okay? This sample units will test whether the machines can mine efficiently as they are designed to do using ETHash, the proof of work algorithm used on Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. Okay, and ETHash, I'm sure there are there are definitely other coins out there that use the ETHash algorithm. I believe uh, Callisto and there's a bunch of others. They've ordered this small sample size and they want to, I guess, just test it. But I guess they have noted that, you know, Ethereum is going to eventually go to ProgPow and proof of stake as well as other information here. I'm not going to go through this whole thing. Let's, I'm just going to read this uh, Medium article that uh, Lindsay Asics has posted. So this was just a couple days ago. And um, they said, today we ordered the first set of wafers and uh, they announced this project, this 1400 mega hash project about uh, a year ago on September 13th. And so now there's some key points here that I want to I wanna mention. Okay, so they named the chip Lindsay E. 1400 so number of wafers ordered at 37 theoretical maximum eth hash performance from the ordered wafers okay so total uh ethereum hash rate would be 300 giga hash okay what they say here with 300 giga hash it's in, it's not a big dent okay so right now the whole total network of ethereum uh is about 178,000 giga hash so they've only they've only been ordering they've ordered about a 300 giga hash worth of the ASIC chips, okay? And uh, you can see here their theoretical maximum share of the global uh, oh, Ethereum Classic hash rate will be about 2.5 percent, but the th Ethereum hash rate uh, maximum share that I showed you guys just now will be about 0.17 percent, okay? So really 300 giga hash out of 178,000 giga hash. Yeah, so 0.17%. Uh, really not a big deal right now, right now, right? Um, and another thing is that they are hoping to have this uh, in mass production by the end of this year, okay? Uh, if everything goes to plan, okay? If, if this miner uh, really works, okay? And uh, let's see here. Um, so they have a FAQ, uh, FAQ here. Um, the tape out is delayed for nine months. What are the reasons and what does this mean for the rest of the schedule? Uh, they say here, we underestimated the complexity of the chip and how long it would take to grow the team and make the company functional. We are cautiously, cautiously optimistic that we can move forward uh, the rest of the schedule, which means 19 uh, in the end of the year 2019 uh, for sample machines and about in February 2020 for mass production. And then they have a next, next FAQ here. Uh, isn't Ethereum switching to ProgPow? Their answer is, we have not taken any pre-orders. When the sales of our machines start, we advise customers on all likely on ongoing effects uh, to change proof-of-work algos in ETH coins. Customer satisfaction is our number one objective. <laughs> uh, I wish uh, <laughs> how many uh, ASIC companies have, have, have mentioned that customer satisfaction. I mean, like Obelisk is a, is a big one in, in my opinion. And, uh, okay, another question here. When are chips coming back from tape out and what is the process of verifying their performance? So their answer is, we are hoping to have the first chips back by mid-November 
Then a multi-week effort known as Chip Bring Up begins, in which we verify the different parts of the chip. The best way to follow the Chip Bring Up is our Telegram group, Lindsay Corp. Uh, you guys can join that if you want. Uh, updates will be shared via Twitter, Instagram, and elsewhere. What is the expected performance? Okay, so it's 1400 mega hash and 1000 watts. Pretty efficient. My RX 480 rig, my 8 by RX 480 rig, does 250 mega hash at about 1000 watts. Okay, so this ASIC miner from Lindsay is definitely, I would say, seven times more efficient. <sighs> so, yeah. Um, honestly, I, I don't think this is going to going to take it off the ground, in my opinion. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, when can we see an actual machine running? The Ideally, we have the first prototype uh, by, I guess they said, February of next year. Uh, when will you do chip testing on a test net? We plan to do chip testing on Ethereum Classic mainnet. Wow. Okay, so they're not doing it on Ethereum, but they're going to do it on Ethereum Classic. Uh, you are producing up to 300 gigahash, ETH hash, but sales are not open yet. Isn't that self-mining? Ha! Great question. Self-mining is not part of our business model. We will try to sell 100% of the machines we are making as early as possible. However, the path to the first machine hashing at 1.4 gigahash is still strong. And at this point, the risk for customers are too unpredictable so that the machine price would be too low. We need to get the entire production to the point that performance, cost, and yield are such that we can guarantee the satisfa satisfying customer experience. We will post regular transpar transparency reports about production and or uh, testing related hash rate through social media. All right, transparency. That's good, honestly. Um, they, another question here. What do you guys what do you guys do against centralization? De decentralization is the entire purpose of proof of work. Uh, I'm laughing here. Our sales will go th uh, to developers and community first. Hmm. Developers. So, underlying uh, kind of uh, situation here, conspiracy, uh, but I'm not going to talk about that, with a focus on geographical distribution. Interesting, interesting. Uh, this means that small orders by individuals would be priced to hit a four-month return on investment, they said. Okay, interesting. Huh. This will offset some of the cost advantages that large customers will have and encourage decentralization. All right, so, I, you know, I've talked about before with ASIC mining and the the, the, the massive sell-off pressure that will happen on Ethereum or whatever coin that ASIC miners go on, right? So, uh, like, great example, I showed you guys of Ravencoin and uh, ASICs coming onto the market. Uh, you, you guys can see the, the price of, uh, in my opinion, the price of Ravencoin has gone down dramatically. And um, I guess this is all, all contributed to the uh, altcoin uh, Bitcoin dominance as well. So... Uh, if, if, if these ASIC miners come on Ethereum Classic and they claim a four, four month ROI here, is it potential that, uh, you know, there's going to be some, some pretty decent sell off pressure on Ethereum Classic? Ah, <sighs> interesting, interesting. Okay, um, I'm not going to read the last part of this. I, I'm going to have this link in the description. Uh, you guys can read this and this other article as well. There's a lot of different information here if you guys are interested. Uh, but I think I pretty much covered uh, covered it all. Um, so to really uh, end off a few more bits here that I want to talk about is... So if this Lindsay ASIC comes you know, to, to fruition and mass production... And with, you know, I've talked about Ethereum moving to ProgPow and, uh, and uh, Proof of Stake... Uh, ProgPow, I'm going to talk about in another video soon, probably the, probably tomorrow. And um, with Ethereum, you know, you can mine Ethereum right now on a bunch of different setups, right? There is actually this wonderful website, f2pool.com. I didn't even know this existed. Uh, it says Miner's Revenue Comparison, okay? And they have here a, a sample set of a bunch of uh, rigs here. So here's a GTX Titan V rig. And the hash rate you can get on this rig is 656 mega hash at about 2,150 watts. That's pretty interesting, okay? Now, there's an ASIC miner here in a silicon A10, which does 485 mega hash at about 850 watts, okay? 
And then you'll see next there's an RTX 2080 rig that does 552 at 2430 watts. And then uh, the NS Silicon A10, GTX 1080 Ti's, and so on and so forth. So interesting to see these kind of numbers and the profitability, revenue, you know, cost per kilowatt hour, that kind of stuff. And uh, <laughs> I definitely can, can see that this Lindsay ASIC would would be you know pretty pretty killer on ethereum classic and uh, ethereum so uh, you know I'm, I'm really not too worried because once these coins start moving to this to their new algos uh, ethereum classic has talked about moving to sha3 it hasn't been set in stone nothing's been committed yet uh, so we'll see and then with ethereum you know everyone knows prog pal it's going to be coming up soon we don't know when exactly. Uh, they have mentioned that it could happen in the hard fork uh, called Berlin. And um, they haven't announced the activation for that uh, on Ethereum. Okay, So uh, I will definitely keep you guys updated on when that will happen for ProgPow. You guys can see here the tentatively accepted EIPs. EIP 1057 and ProgPow. Okay? The uh, Progmatic Proof of Work algorithm. Okay, So that's going to switch ETH hash. So, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, my I just want to give you guys this information that obviously there's a really powerful ASIC miner coming out for Ethereum and Ethereum Classic or just ETHash in general. And what's that gonna do? What's 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 it gonna do? They're gonna release a small sample set of 300 giga hash on the network. I don't think it's gonna hurt that much on Ethereum, but on Ethereum Classic probably uh, and we're gonna have to watch the sell-off pressure for that I'm gonna be pretty uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be surprised if you know ethereum loses continually maybe possibly lowers its value but when the hash rate does go up sometimes the price uh, if the price goes up then uh, the hash rate will go up as well but if you know they're just ASIC miners coming out for reasons for making money, of course, um, then we might see some major sell-off pressure here. Not because that they're supporting the coin, but uh, you know, like they said, they talked about return on investment, right? Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. I will be talking about uh, Ethereum and ProgPow tomorrow in another video. I have some information there uh, regarding the audits being finished for that. So just let me know what you guys think about this ASIC miner. Uh, in my opinion, it's 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 probably. It's probably going to die off. Uh, I don't think anyone should buy it. Uh, but that's just my opinion. And uh, maybe with people that have lots of money are probably going to purchase one or something for the hell of it. Uh, Alright guys. Well, thanks for watching. Smash the like button. Subscribe. All that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. And peace out.